All right. I, it says live. Um, I'm going to check one more thing here. So this is the presentation that we were trying to do. Oh, now I think it just went live. Okay. Um, this is the presentation we were trying to do last night, Lauren and I, and we had some storms roll through that was not cooperating with uh, my internet. I think it was, I don't think it was on Lauren's end at all. Um, okay, awesome. So um, it does look, hi Heather. Okay, good. So it does look like it's streaming. So that's perfect. Um, so I'm gonna give just a couple, like a minute. I'm gonna just do a minute. because I do really want to be, um, hi Rebecca. I do really want to be uh, conscious of everyone's time. Uh, go ahead and as you hop on, please say hi. If you end up watching this on the replay, I'd love for you to uh, type in replay below. I am going to start off by saying that what I'm going to share with you today is a personal experience. Um, we cannot make the claims that these products can heal, treat, anything like that. But I'm going to share with you um, what my experience has been with the products and I'm happy to answer questions for you, uh, you know, if, if that comes about. Uh, a little background on me as we're waiting for people to hop on. So I do have my doctorate in physical therapy and uh, for t the first 10 years of my career, I was working clinically. Um, I'm a board certified specialist in neurologic uh, rehabilitation um, through the American Board of Physical Therapy Specialists. Um, and I hold a, I I'm a bit nerdy. So I hold a bunch of different <laughs> subspecialty certifications as well. But the biggest thing for me was that about two years ago, um, a lot changed in my life. And I'm gonna talk about more uh, you too, Mary. Um, I'm going to talk about that a little bit more um, in my story. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get started with my story. We're about two minutes in. Uh, like I said, feel free to drop a hi in the comments. Uh, type hashtag replay if you're watching on the replay. Feel free to ask questions along the way, and I'll try and keep uh, tabs of the comments. Using Facebook Live, I can see the comments a little bit better. So, okay. So where do I begin? Um, I have three kids. Uh, I have an eight and a half, a seven, and an almost four-year-old. And uh, my husband and I have been married for, it'll, we're, it's, we're at nine and a half years, so it's kind of exciting. Uh, and we also have a, a beautiful little dog who's six years old. Um, his name is Chance. He's, he's little, but he, anyway. Okay, he's sturdy. So after the birth of my third son, my third child, my son Patrick, <clears throat> about seven months, eight months, nine months, some, somewhere along there, um, I started to experience migraines. I had had migraines as a kid, um, so I knew like what they were. Uh, they told me they were hormonal back then, um, but they were bad, and in high school they were awful. Um, and they kind of went away. And in college I might have had a handful. Um, but after about seven, eight months, seven, eight, nine months after having Patrick, I remember very clearly there was a day where I wasn't feeling well, kind of felt like flu-ish like, but it was the middle of summer. So I was like, this is kind of weird. Um, and then as I was home, I started having this tingling in my face and it, it got into, it extended down into my arm and I ended up driving myself to an immediate care. Now I, I gave you the uh, background on my neuro specialist because <laughs> I did screen myself, which probably also isn't completely accurate, but I didn't have any drooping of the face, even though I knew that these signs could be stroke like I didn't have any of the other symptoms. So I drove myself to immediate care. They did a quick CT scan, the CT scan came back negative. Um, me and they asked me if I had a history of migraines to which I said, Yes. So they said, Okay, it's just a migraine. Um, any other migraine sufferers out there kind of get annoyed with the it's just a migraine statement. So you, you would understand. Um, so that was that. So I went home. Um, they told me to you know, take something over the counter. Um, and it continued for another day. Like the next day, I still wasn't feeling well. And then it, it started to get better. That was August. I want to say it was August. Uh, it might have been June or July um, of 2018. So these start to worsen. And about two months later, I get another one. And this one's worse and then it becomes monthly. And then in regards to monthly, they become more frequent during the month. 
to the point that I have to go see a neurologist. And when I see the neurologist, um, she puts me on a schedule of getting regular MRIs to rule out any other cause of, for the migraines. And um, I start a whole host of different medications to the point that I was injecting myself every month to try to reduce my migraine days. I was having more than 15 migraines per month, um, which would classify me as a, a chronic migraine patient. Um, and you can imagine at that time I'm working full time. I've got three small kids. Um, it's, I don't have time for that. Um, but nothing was working. So I, I, I was doing the injections. Um, I could not stop one when they started. None of the abortives were working. Uh, I went from pills to, um, a nasal spray to, they were, in, they injected something into my nose. Um, it was a whole host of things. Nothing worked, nothing stopped it. Uh, minimally reduced it. Um, so fast forward, we're summer of 2020 and I get some blood work done and something comes back abnormal and my neurologist starts um, researching it with me. And it turns out that the injection I was using for the migraines was actually starting to break down my muscle, which was releasing a protein into my blood and it was coming up on, on blood testing. So we talk about the fact that we need to get off this injection, which was basically like the only thing that had done a little bit of something. So that point she recommends I go to uh, medical marijuana, um, but she wants me to do the oil only for a, a whole bunch of reasons. Um, and so I get my card and I purchase some very expensive CBD oils um, to which still nothing is helping. It's not reducing it. It's help. It, I, I would sleep a little bit better, um, but, um, and. For anyone that's on here like medical grade marijuana the only reason it's medical grade is because the level of thc in it so it doesn't necessarily mean that it has a whole bunch of plant goodness in it it means that it just has a, a lot of thc um more than the 0.3 percent that is legal limit so those aren't working so i stopped buying those i tried a few gummy products not really doing anything so november of 2020 october of 2020 lauren reaches out to me because i comment on a facebook post okay um, I'm super skeptical. It's not going to do anything. Nothing else has. Why would this? And, um, she's, I get a sample and it's a, it's the Saturday after Thanksgiving. And I'm, I have this whole day playing with my daughter and, um, I, all I have in the car with me as it, this symptom, as my symptoms start is this soothe is a sample of soothe. So I pulled out, I watched the video that I hadn't watched on how to use it. And I do two drops and I am texting her the rest of the day because within 30 minutes, every single one of my neurological symptoms throughout my entire body was gone. I mean, guys, I used to lose vision. Um, I would be curled up in a ball. My migraines were so bad. I was in tears two weeks out of the month because I was so frustrated with what I couldn't do. Um, two drops of this, my migraine was gone. I was in utter disbelief. I was like, this isn't possible. I just want this to work. This is placebo. So the next day my migraines start again. Remember I said, my migraines always last multiple days. We're at church and I end up, um, we come home, I take two drops, it stops it again. So I, <laughs> I messaged Laura and I said, okay, sign me up, you know, let me, I'll, I'll buy the soothe. And she said, well, you know, there's a lot of other products involved and blah, blah, blah. Well, I ended up jumping on an overview, overview and I, saw the benefit. I, I understood the science behind the life, which is now enrich. And I was like, okay, I have suffered from IBS my entire life. So on top of the migraines, okay. Um, 2018, same year, it was a rough year. Um, I was having such bad, uh, IBS that, well, what they called IBS that I would drink water and I would like get reflux and I would have pain and I'd have, and it was, it was awful. And so they wanted to put me on all these meds and they wanted to do all these tests. And it was, so I, at that point I started seeing a functional medicine doctor and that did start to help um, a little bit, but I couldn't tolerate some of those supplements either. So, but it got to a point that it was better enough that I felt like, well, hey, I'm not as bad as I was. Um, so when I saw life, I was like, oh, this would be interesting. So I I got, I ordered that in a, in the packs that we had there and I'm, I'm, look at my notes because I wrote down like the process that we went through. So, uh, I start with, I start taking life and I tested immediately with, um, dairy with ice cream and pizza. So there was a very specific type of pizza that we would always eat that I always would wake up in the middle of the night, not feeling well, but I love pizza. 
Um, I've been on and I, this is what is very super interesting. I've been on and off lactose intolerant my entire life. Um, age of five, I couldn't do it. I kind of like got better and could drink it. And then college, grad school, um, I got so sick on anything dairy. I like completely cut it out of my diet, com like nearly completely. And then I started trying to introduce it again and I wasn't having any success with that. Um, so I start using life and I test it with this pizza the first time I get it and I am completely fine. Like I can eat anything I want or I could eat it and I didn't have any, I didn't have any issues. And I was like, all right. So at that point it's December of 2020 and we had been, my son, my youngest, um, was having a lot of constipation issues to the point that we were doing a suppository once or twice a week um, because he was so backed up and anything going orally wasn't doing it. Um, and he just, he was in pain and it was awful. It was awful to watch. So we start kind of playing with the dosing of the life. We start with like a half a capsule that we open and put in something. And then we, we increase it to one and we increase it to multiple times a day. It was about February or March finally of like consistent, you know, figuring it out and using it consistently. Um, that he for the first time didn't run and hide and pooped and now to this day we still you know some days he's better sometimes you know but um he is no longer ever constipated to the point of pain and so that really was a big thing for me because he as a mom seeing your child uncomfortable that really is just a heart-wrenching thing so that helping him was awesome um yeah i love it that i can eat anything I want. I, I couldn't process fats. I couldn't, um, they thought there was something wrong with my gallbladder. I had done a ton of gallbladder testing. Thankfully they never took it out. Um, but I have family members whose gallbladder were taken out and I don't know that it necessarily needed to be. Um, I couldn't process fats. I couldn't process, uh, beef, like high protein, uh, and life changed that completely for me. So a little bit back, let me go back to, uh, migrate. Well, just research. Okay. So I get these products and I start going through the product training videos, right? Of, of what everything is. And I realize as I'm watching the renew or what's used to be called radiant, I had no, I have had chronic asthma since I was five years old. Okay. I grew out of it. Um, so I was to the point where I was hospitalized annually and, uh, nebulizer at home. Um, but I finally grew out of it and played sports and it was great. Okay. Well, after my son, after my third child, it all happened after my third child, after my third child, uh, my asthma like reignited. I don't know what you want to call it. And, um, January of 2018, I was hospitalized for three days, three days, two nights. Um, it was a flu exacerbation that led to an, it was flu that led to an asthma exacerbation, but it took them a month to get there. It was a month of outpatient treatment finally with a hospitalization because I was not improving. And then someone swabbed me and found out that it, I had the flu and that that's what was causing my asthma flare. So, um, I was hospitalized January of 2018. Then I was, and because of that, I was put on, oh geez, I was put on an oral inhaler, a pill. And I went, sent, was sent home with a nebulizer again that I had every so often. So I went from zero medications um, to all of this between my migraines and my asthma. So then 2019 is okay. T January, 2020, um, it was not COVID as far as they know, um, but it was before the COVID testing was out there. But I again went from being fine to all of a sudden I could tell my asthma was getting bad. And I was hospitalized this time for five days um, again, around the clock steroids, around the clock respiratory treatments. Um, I went home on a 20 day taper of steroids, um, because it had been so bad. Um, I was hospitalized after nine days of outpatient treatment. Um, and again, they couldn't figure out why I wasn't getting better. So 2020 was really a year of like, I'm getting rid of the inflammation in my body. And, uh, I'll tell you that in addition to those things, I had a surgery in November of 2019 that resulted in nerve pain from my neck to the fingertips of my left arm. Okay. Severe. 
Um, it took 13 specialists to come up with the diagnosis of what it was that was causing that. Um, and that came in November of 2020. But in the year of 2020, my husband and I really focused on uh, anti-inflammatory diet, um, reducing toxins, all these things. We'd really done it. We were really doing a lot of research. So then when these products were introduced to me in November of 2020, I I was on board because I had, I had done the research first. So I started listening to this information on Renew, right? And I'm like, no one has ever told me anything about antioxidant properties of vitamin E. And so I, I order it and I start taking it. Um, I actually, I think it, it did come in my pack. So I had ordered it already. And so I was like, yeah, I need to take this. So I started taking that um, in addition to some of the other stuff. And in January 1st of 2021, I test positive for COVID. And I, two days prior, had started feeling it and thinking that I was going to, I was in my month that I was going to develop bronchitis. So um, I started doing my peak flows, measuring my peak flows. While I had COVID, I never had anything happen with my asthma. And by February, I ran out of my inhaler and I was like, I'm going to see if I can go without this. And so I, I stopped doing it. And then just a couple months ago, um, I ran out of my prescription for my singular, but I had not had a, I not had a single episode of any sh sort of shortness of breath, chest tightness, anything. And so I felt comfortable kind of weaning myself from it. And I still have not taken a single dose of anything related to my asthma, um, from a pharmaceutical standpoint, um, in a few months. Um, and I, that's really big for me. And that's where I was before 2018. And so that that's been huge for me. In addition, <laughs> I'm kind of a health mess. Um, I was after I had my son, but in addition, I have suffered from severe allergies my entire life. And when I was having all these asthma exacerbation flare ups, I was told I needed to, as a kid, I had allergy injections. I would get seven every other week and then it tapered from there. And so 2019, no, 2020, I start allergy injection, allergy shots again. Um, but by the end of the year, I'm so over it because they're not helping drastically enough that I'm noticing anything. And it's another thing I have to do on top of all this rehab that I'm doing and my kids and everything else. So I stopped using them because I just didn't feel like they were doing what I needed them to. Well, in March of 2021, we moved to the country and you guys can kind of see behind me. Um, so that's my back. That's part of my backyard. It is trees. It is grass. It is pollen. It is bugs. It is like we're, we're on three acres. It's it's country, right? Since I was a teenager, I have not touched a lawnmower to the point that I would break out in hives. Um, I avoided touching grass in every way that I possibly could. If I could, if I knew I was going to be around grass, I premedicated. I wouldn't tr touch tree bark because it would make me break out in hives. It was, it was in intense. Okay. So I'm feeling really good on all these products. Um, and this, I really feel like has a lot to do with our optimize specifically, but I'm feeling really good on these products. Um, and so I tried to mow the lawn a couple months ago and it was just a small patch. Um, it, we're trying to put a pumpkin patch in. So it was, it was just a small patch of grass. I was like hand mowing instead of the riding mower. And I mowed the lawn without any migraine exacerbation, without any hives, without any redness, no increase in sneezing, nothing. And all I did was I took two optimized before I did it. I took two optimized when I was done and I took two optimized the next morning and I never had an increase in symptoms, period. Um, just, just really, truly amazing from what I had previously experienced. Like I couldn't, I, I loved nature and couldn't be in nature because of my allergies. And these products are, are definitely making a difference. Um, so I'm on, I, I haven't taken an allergy pill of any kind in six months. Um, I am completely on the plant-based products. I'm not doing any type of other allergy medication. Um, I do use um, something called Exlear from like a nasal uh, standpoint, but it's another natural uh, based product. Um, so, and then the final thing that I wanted to talk about um, in regards to my experience. So uh, I talked about the, I, I had the surgery November of 2019. 
um, I ended up having to, th there was a biceps, uh, what's called a biceps tenodesis. So that was November. It led to chronic nerve pain. I couldn't strengthen my arm. I couldn't use my arm. My arm was in so much pain. Um, I, after 13 months, I get a diagnosis of what's called thoracic outlet syndrome. And I, I won't go into all the details, but basically I find out in January that the only way to relieve it is to have another surgery. So in February, at the end of February of 2021, I had a surgery to remove my left-sided first rib, uh, two of my muscles, my anterior and middle scaling. They uh, cut my pec minor tendon. And when they went in internally, they found scar tissue on the three nerve roots of my neck, um, my lower part of my neck. Three, three of my cervical nerve roots had extensive scar tissue. And through your arm, you have three major branches, um, three major nerves, your radial, median, and ulnar nerve. And they all stem from what's called your brachial plexus. And on the lower branches, the lower two branches of my brachial plexus, I also had extensive scar tissue. So likely the combination of the compression in the area and the scar tissue is what was causing my nerve symptoms. So I have this surgery, it's five and a half hours. Um, they end up deflating my lung and I come out with a chest tube. Uh, I have a chest tube for two days. I'm hospitalized for five. Um, this is all down in St. Louis and I come home and I, because of the nerve, damage, I could not move my arm for almost a week um, without kind of lifting it myself. Um, so I am sent home on heavy dose painkillers. Um, I actually was on two different opiates, um, also ibuprofen and Tylenol, and then just a bunch of other stuff um, as well. Uh, like just like get, you know, like it was anyway. So, um, and I'm told I'm going to be on all of this for months. So within three, so I, I start adding in these plant-based supplements, um, the soothe, um, the optimize. I was also at this point doing balance and vibe regularly, um, which vibe is now called focus. Um, and I was using the, the whole flower fluid rub as well. Um, and I started taking the collagen. I started doing the collagen. So by three weeks, I am off the opiate painkillers completely. And now I'm just, I'm down to alternating uh, ibuprofen and Tylenol. I go for my one month follow-up and they, I ask if I need to start keep taking the, the opiates and they said, no, um, but we suggest you fill it again because you're going to start physical therapy now and you're going to be in a lot of pain. And I'm a physical therapist, so I knew kind of what to expect. And um, so I said, okay, well, I, I'd like to just kind of start with the Tylenol and the, and the ibuprofen. So I gradually start to wean myself off of that as well. And I didn't do it quickly. Um, it was probably another month where I started weaning myself off of the ibuprofen and Tylenol. And within eight weeks, I was off all painkill, all pharmaceutical based painkillers. Um, and when I went back for my three month follow up, I had more motion than they expected. Then they told me that I had more motion at that point than some people have at their six month follow up. Um, and they were shocked that I was off my pain meds. And they're like, are you sure? Like, do you want us to write you something? I said, no, I'm, I'm good. Um, and so in that instance, in the healing of after this major surgery, I can't say what would have happened if I didn't have these products. But based on what they're telling me where I should have been instead of where I was, I do think that these products made a incredible difference in my post-op recovery. Um, and so you can, this is one of my scars right there, um, which you can't really see, which is kind of awesome. And then again, you can't really see this one, but it's in here. Oh, you can see it right there. Um, so those are my two scars. Um, I still have numbness in this area. Um, I still have a five pound lifting restriction on my arm, but I do have full motion. And so that's, what's really important. So all of this to say, you guys, um, at this point in my life, nine months after being introduced to these products, I will go hundreds of days without a migraine. And when I start to get one, I can stop it every single time I can stop it. I have not lost a day with my kids 
since I started these products, not one because of a migraine, not, not a single one. I, my, my, my son is pooping. He actually is potty training, which is super exciting because I'm sick of diapers, <laughs> but he's potty training and we do, he actually gets more now. All three of my kids um, are on some of our supplements because after doing the more and more and more research, they are better than any other um, kid vitamin out there that I could find. Um, so my, my son is, is better. Um, I am off all of my asthma medication. I'm off all of my allergy medications. I'm no longer doing allergy shots. And I still have a long road of recovery from a strength standpoint with my arm, but I fully 100% believe that I would be a lot, I wouldn't be as far as I am without them. So if you have any questions, if you have anyone that is suffering from anything similar to this in any way whatsoever, oh, in my gut, like I can eat whatever I want. Um, and the other kind of neat thing too, and I am big into fitness, but because of this in February, I have not been able to work out the way that I always do. And I have not gained any weight, none. Um, I fluctuate, I typically fluctuate like five pounds, but usually uh, if this were the case in the way that I have been exercising up until recently, um, I would have gained a good 10 to 15 pounds. And I, yes, we are, we, we are conscious of the way we eat and that started back in 2020 as well. But, um, and before that, um, but I do think that these products have something to do with that too. Um, and curbing appetite and, and things like that. So I'm happy to answer any questions. I thank you for those that hopped on and, um, listened to this whole thing. Um, <laughs> it's a lot. Um, I've been through a lot. Uh, I'm incredibly grateful for these products, for this, for this company, for this business, for this group, for, for all of it. And, um, I am happy to talk to anyone, um, and share with you more and go into more detail, but this was a lot longer than I, um, wanted, that I thought it was going to be. So I hope you learned something and, um, I hope it will inspire you to talk to some other people, um, to come to us and ask questions, to, to think about a different path if you've been struggling with some chronic illnesses and you're looking for um, some additional healing um, and maybe to reduce your medication intake. Um, that's where, you know, we'd love to, to help you with that and show you some alternatives that we have our hands on. So have a wonderful rest of your day and happy Friday, Junior. <laughs>